It's now for the finish for the gold medal. On day four of the Paralympics, Edith Wolf of Switzerland won gold in the women's 5,000 meters race T54 category, beating Charlie Rayleigh of the USA with a very tight margin. Christy Dawes of Australia settled for bronze as world record holder in the category, Diane Roy of Canada, finished ninth, featuring nowhere in the race. A bit of space between her and the chasing pack, Fry in the black there. Here comes the United States athlete, Shirley Riley, into second place now, chasing down Edith Wolf, who's led for four laps. Going to be a thrilling finish. Riley's going hard in second place. Can Wolf hold on to it in lane two? Wolf is tiring. Here comes Riley of the United States. Dawes is chasing for the bronze medal. Wolf for Riley. Wolf for Riley. It's going to be Wolf just by half a wheel from Riley. In 12.27.87, the gold medal goes to Switzerland's Edith Wolf. In the men's 400 meters T38 category, round one hit one, Union Sekaiolo failed to maintain his tempo, finishing behind Chinese Zhu Wenjun and winner of the race, Tunisian Abe Saidi. The three now qualify for the finals. One tenth of a second slower than his uh, best time, but here they go, the 400 meters. This is round one in the T38 over 400 meters. In lane number four, he's going to chase him down now. Has Sekawi gone out too hard? He's coming onto the last hundred. Sullivan has got the lead, but only just. Sekawi is there. So is the Chinese runner, Zhao Wenju. Sekawi is tiring. Here comes uh, Abes Saidi of Tunisia. Saidi's going to get it, and he's going to get it ahead of the Chinese runner, Zhao Wenju. And Sekawi will hold on to third place. Sullivan in fourth place. Well, a brave, brave run by uh, Union Sekawi of South Africa. In round one hit two, South Africa. African Maria Standard ensured there will be two South Africans in the finals by qualifying first in the event. Omar Monterola of Venezuela had taken the lead and looked like the obvious winner, but Marias did not relent on his pursuit. Mohamed Farat of Tunisia finished third, making it to the final list of eight, which will include two best losers from both hits. 50 to go. Standard must hang on here. Cheetah. He's not expending too much energy here, ensuring that they get through. Stunder is holding well, coming off the bend. The big figure of Omar Monterola from Venezuela. Pushing out. Stunder is going very steadily here. Cheetah's done enough, he feels. Monterola from Venezuela. And Mario Stunder will push out just to get the edge and take the win in the heat. Well done to Mario Stunder, 53-53. Another final that promises to be a thrilling one is that of women's 100 meters finals. In round one hit one of the category, Mandy Eli of France easily qualified for the finals, beating Oksana Krechunyak of Ukraine and Neda Bahi respectively, who also qualified for the finals. Eli of uh, France, she's chased down by Karen Chunyak from uh, Ukraine. Francois Eli will get it in 14-3-0 with uh, Krechunyak from Ukraine in uh, second place. They will be joined by the qualifiers from round one hit two led by German Maria Seifert, Jenny McLaughlin from Great Britain and Victoria Kravchenko from Ukraine. German is surging away now and she should take the win with Jenny McLaughlin in second. The battle for third place and it may well go to Victoria Kravchenko from uh, Ukraine but Maria Seifert of uh, Germany takes the win and will go through to the final. And finally, Brazil has a chance to record a clean sweep in the women's 200 meters finals after Guilhamina led the Santos sisters to the finals, although Chinese Jin Juntixian looked in good form to contest for the gold. She's gone past Tracy Hinton now, but being hunted down by Jerusa Santos in lane four. It's going to be close between the Chinese runners, Yu Jinxian and Santos. Santos is working hard. Yu Jinxian is working hard. These two are going to be the Chinese runners. Yu Jinxian is going to get the win here. Santos will have to push hard. It's about the fastest uh, losers to get to the final. 26-2-5. Hinton in third place. And Kenya still waits for her first medals in the finals to be held starting from Tuesday. Eric Munene, GBS.